Hello everyone, hello, hello, hello. Today I decided to shake things up a little bit. It's a nice day outside, so I wanted some, you know, natural light. And I didn't want to film in my dark studio. So today's sponsor is going to be filmed out here. And today's sponsor is Warby Parker. So let's hear a little bit about it. Warby Parker offers everything you need for happy eyes. Eyeglasses, sunglasses, contacts, eye exams, and you can shop with them online or in stores. Glasses start at $95, including prescription lenses. Try Warby Parker's free home trial program. Order five pairs of glasses to try home for free. There's no obligation to buy. It ships free and includes a prepaid return shipping label. You can try five pairs of glasses at home for free at wallybarker.com slash amyk. Before I ordered my home try-on, I answered a few questions in their quiz, like, do I wear glasses? Um, what's my face width? What shapes of glasses do I prefer? What colors I like? What materials I like? And much more. And from there, I chose some eyeglasses and a pair of sunglasses to try on at home. Really quick, I want to say that I actually purchased eyeglasses from Warby Parker before, and these are it. They're so cute and blue and fun, and I can't wait to try on more glasses. These are the style styles, and they are in the color green garnet fade. They are very cute, although I think that they're a little too big for my liking. Next is the style Gimlet LBF in the color Mars Pan Turquoise. I feel like I'm from a different era when I wear these. I really like how light my current pair of glasses are, so I wanted to try a similar style. And this is the style Simon M in the color Polished Gold. Okay, I might have to get these. Everyone needs a backup pair, right? Next is the style Felix LBF in the color Sandalwood Matte. So, I did not expect to fall in love with another pair. This is going to make things very hard for me. Lastly, I decided I wanted to try a pair of sunglasses. This is the style Merrick in <laughs> polished gold. Um, these are not for me. And that's that's fine. I just, I'm glad I got to try them on before I bought them. Um, so that I would know that they do not look um, very good on my face or shape. <laughs> why is drawing on glasses always so much fun? I don't, I don't know why. So if you want to get yourself a new pair of snazzy glasses, go to warbyparker.com slash amyk to try on five pairs of glasses at home for free. <laughs> I do want to add that home try-ons are only available in the US. And with that, thank you so much to Warby Parker for sponsoring this video, and let's get on. Do it, 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 do it. No? Yes, I heard. Well, you know, to be honest, if I'm being really honest here, I have to say I don't prefer it. I just, I really like when Miss Dolores, she just does the, you know, the hymns on the piano, and then we do our hymn, and then we sit back down. I don't think we need this whole gospel band that we have going on. It's too much. I know it's really popular with the young kids, but I go to church to worship the Lord. I, I don't need to see a rock band. I feel like it, you know... It's a big thing, you know. I just want to go nice worship, and it's just too much. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you understand because there were just a lot of people that were weren't agreeing on that. Oh, yeah. I heard. Yep, Miss Cheryl's back on the prayer list. Oh, bless her heart, poor thing. Oh, yes, yeah, she's in my prayers. Oh no, I heard. Did you? Well, she threw it her back doing Zumba. Yep, she does it at the local IMCA. I go there and I do some laps in the water. You know, I do some the the laps and you know I get my workout in. But she likes the Zumba and she just goes too hard. Mm hmm. Good for her though. Yeah. Well, she's in my prayers. Bless her heart. Oh, Miss Barbara, I'm gonna have to call you back. Oh, we got a red alert. Someone dyed their hair. <clears throat> Sweetheart. <sighs> wow. Would you look at this? Would you look at this? Would you look at this? So, 
I need a drink. It's my favorite cup. Rescue is my favorite type. You know I love my rescues. It's a fresh ice cold water. I just need to refresh after this. You know, I'm trying to be really good right now. Okay. So. Sweetheart. You decided to dye your hair. Pink. You know, that's non nitra color. You know, we aren't burned with the killer pink hair. Okay. No, no, no. I like it. It looks really nice on you. You know, I think every hair color looks nice on you. And we could... Whatever it is, you know, you're into. That's fine. In Air House, we are accepting of all kinds. You know? But, um... You know, we're going to see your grandparents today. That's what we're getting ready for right now. Your brother and sister are off getting ready. And, um, I wasn't expecting you to come out with this pink hair. Okay. And what's this? Is it some aliener? Is this some dark? Is this some black aliener? Well, this is a new look for you. Oh, no, no, I like it. It looks really nice on you, but again, you... Listen, you're gonna, I am very accepting of all of your, you know, different styles and stuff. I, you know, I didn't see anything when you bought those, uh, those canvas, right? I didn't see anything, and I let you get them, right? But, um, your grandparents, they're born in a different time. And, you know, they have, your grandmother has a very weak heart. And last time you got into it with her, remember about the LGBT? Oh, yep. We are very accepting of them here. We are accepting of all kinds, but you know your appearance. Okay. It almost feels like you dipped this to be deliberate. Are you trying to kill your grandparents? You might be. Okay. Well, maybe we can somehow get them to understand. They say that the old dogs don't, you know, learn the new tricks, but maybe we could teach them. I just, I, I worry. I worry about your grandparents. Because they're old and they're weak. You know, I think they might be radicalized by Facebook. But other than that, you know, they're fine. And they're just, they live a very quiet life. And this is a bit much. This is very loud. So you don't, is this, is this permanent? Is this permanent? It's, it is permanent. Okay. And you didn't consult me before this? No, no, it's okay. You don't need to consult me before changing your hair. But it would have been nice to know. Do you feel like you can't come to me, sweetie? Do you feel like you can't come to me? I want you to be be comfortable to come and talk to me, okay? Is there what what's going on? Are you feeling okay? I feel like there's a change going on and I don't know what's going on with you. Is there hormones? You know, I know I understand when you get a little bit older you got the hormones. Okay, I won't talk about it. I know you don't like to talk about those sorts of things with your mother, but I'm always here for you. I'm always here for you, sweetie. Maybe we could take back a little bit of the eyeliner. Maybe with just the hair and then take back the eyeliner. No, it's a statement. Okay, okay, we'll stick with the eyeliner. Okay. Are you alright? Is everything okay? You know, you could tell me. Are you depressed? Is that neighbor boy harassing you? Oh, I know it's gotta be him. If he's harassing you, I'll go over, I'll march right on over, and I'll let him know if he's on my mind. Oh, he's your friend? Is he the one that's, you know, these changes because you're trying to impress him? Oh, honey, you, I know you may think he's your friend, but boys like that. I tell you what, there's only one thing on their mind. Oh, you may see he's not like that. He's not like that. But I know. I know what boys are like. Well, you know, your father was a boy once. We got married in high school. Trust me, I know. So, he's harassing you. He's not. Okay. Well, if he ever does, you come right to me. You know, I don't want to scare you. I don't want to scare you. But I'm pretty sure that he partakes in the marijuana. You heard me. I'm pretty sure he partakes in the marijuana. Oh, I know. I know. Your mother's not young anymore. No. I've been around the block. 
not not literally, but well, <laughs> that boy, he came peeling in it with his Mustang. You know, came into the driveway. I'm outside unloading the groceries, and you know, he opens up the door. A puff of smoke comes out. And I smell it right away. It smells just like a skunk. And I I walk right on over to him and I tell him I give him a piece of my mind. And you know, he has the gumption to tell me that he just was working out or something. And that's why he smells like that. I know he's not working out. You know he's not working out. Listen, his mother, you know who he gets it from? His father. His father's a deadbeat. I'm telling you. It's ridiculous. I don't know why Debbie puts up with them. I love her. I love her. You know, Lord in her mercy. His mercy. God is gender neutral. Okay. We are aware of this. God is gender neutral. But in their mercy, poor Miss Debbie. I don't know why she puts up with them. Mm-mm. I'm pretty sure I've smelled it on him, too. And that's where the boy landed. end such a bad influence. I need to check up on her. Debbie, make sure she's okay. Well, let's not talk about that. I don't want to get y'all upset. I know it's upsetting to talk about that. Okay, well, are you hungry? It's nearly 11 o'clock. Have you had anything? Oh my goodness gracious. You need to eat something. You can't. No, no. Your grandparents. Back in the day, they were very good cooks, but nowadays they're losing it. They're losing it, and they do not cook all that well. Yeah, I'm telling you, you're gonna want to eat before we leave. Let me get you something. Okay, so um, I got some bread sticks. carbs at your age. Your metabolism is fast. Not like me. When I hit 30, oh boy. Not anymore. Here. We have some princess sticks. Princess, princess sticks. No? Okay. Alright. Alright. Mm -hmm. I do my best. Yes, I have. Um, I have these. These are really good. Okay, so they're nature's big. We're thinking about doing gluten-free stuff and you know if it helps with my digestion. You know how I am with my digestion Okay, okay, I won't talk about that. I know you don't like it makes you uncomfortable, but listen everybody poops Okay All right, so there's this. Would you like to try these? These will make you regular. Okay, okay Whatever you say All right, okay. Well, you know I get I have this snack mix. The snack mix. They're really good. They have different things in there. So it's a um, it's a crispy corn and cashew snack mix. Crispy corn snack mix. Okay, it's really good. It has cashews, almonds, corn nuts. And there's even some honey sesame sticks in there. They're really good. It's really good. much the whole thing. You know, I've only had a few bites of this. Yeah, just a few bites. And the rest you rather just went to town on. That man, I'll tell you what. I've 
been trying to get him to watch his, you know, intake of his food because he eats way too much. But he used to have, when he was younger, he had the most ridiculous metabolism. He could eat whatever he wanted. He would have a pizza and a hamburger and all those things in one day and it didn't even matter. But now, his metabolism, it's just shut right down. I mean, you know, you've seen his gut. I've been trying to tell him he's got to watch his calories. But, you know, he doesn't want to think about that sort of stuff. So what do you think about the snack box? What are we thinking about the snack box? Sorry, I just can't. Looking at this, I just... It's, no, it's okay. It's okay. So it's a no on the snack box. Okay. Well... Would you like it if I made you some peanut butter and jelly? I know you'll like your peanut butter and jelly. Oh, God. Okay, I'll make you some peanut butter and jelly. Stand right here. For you, just in case we need to take it in the care with us on our way to the green parents, okay? So I'm gonna take paper plates, sit right here, and then make your sandwich right here, okay? Okay, so this is the only peanut butter we have left. It's the Reese's, okay? It's not as good as the Jeff. It's not as good. I got it because I thought, well, you know, Reese's, it's like the candy bear, but it's also peanut butter. It could be better. Well, you know, it's all right. It's nothing, it's nothing special, you know. And, um, you know, it's the calories, it's not very good. I try not to look at that sort of stuff, but. So, is this one okay for you? You're okay with this one? All right. So, I'll set that there. Let me go get the jelly. So this one we got the Smackers, and we do have several uh, flavors, but I, I was thinking you'd like the blackberry. You like the blackberry? Okay. I'll put the blackberry on your sandwich. Okay. Now we got several types of breads here. Let, one second, I gotta... So, I have some sourdough. Sourdough bread. Now, that wouldn't go all too well. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Sourdough has a bit of a flavor to it. You know, a bit of that sour flavor. A bit of the sour flavor. So, you know, that's why that this might be a little bit too much of an option. Okay, yeah, so no sourdough. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, we had these for dinner the other night. Well, there are some left. We can have some tiny little rolls. You open them up. And that's how you can make a little sandwich. They're really sweet, though. I will say they're very sweet. So, you know, if you don't want to have too sweet of a sandwich, the peanut butter generally, it, it helps it. But, yeah, these are really sweet. What do you think? Um, you want to do some Hawaiian rolls? You think you want to do some Hawaiian rolls? No? Okay. Oh. He didn't want the Hawaiian rolls, but I do have some of us. Usually we have these for breakfast. But you can also use it, you know, as a little treat. It's a little, little snack snack, a little treat. A little treat treat. Hmm? Yeah, I like sweet, but you can make it with a PB and j but it's really good. Yeah? Why not? Let's try it. Alright, let's make you this PB and j So we'll see here. What sort of stuff have you been doing? You have been trapped inside your room all day. Yeah, what, you, what were you doing all last night? Are you checking with some friends online? On the intercams? Oh, you play the first night. Okay, remind me, which game was that? Okay, is that the one where you dress up as Ariana Grande? Oh yeah, I love her. Yep, she does that beautiful voice. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so you had fun with that one. 
Victory Rail? What's the Victory Rail? Okay, you didn't get the Victory Rail. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetheart, that you didn't get the Victory Rail. I know you really wanted it. Well, maybe next time. Maybe next time you'll get the Victory Rail. Yeah. Alright, let's put some peanut butter in here. So, were you thinking about coming to church with us this Sunday? Well, we had an issue with one of the congregation members, and um, there's something wrong with their knee. It's, I don't know what it is, but they might need some help for doing the um, communion. They might need some, you could come and help us with communion. No? Okay, well, if you think about it, okay. Is this enough peanut butter for you, honey? Okay. Now let's move on to the jelly. Get this jelly up in here. Alright. Close up this peanut butter. So, how's school going, honey? Good. Oh. You still hanging out with that friend of yours? How are they doing? I heard they were having some issues with the depression. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, they're feeling better? That's so good. I was praying for them. I was. Oh, uh, Lord, in their mercy, I was praying for them. I'll have to speak with her mother. Okay, got some jelly on there. Put it this way. Right. You want me to cut the crust off for you? I know you don't like the crust. Ever since you're a little kid, you never liked the crust. I can cut it in triangles. Okay, you're not a kid anymore. I know, I know. Alright. Just gonna cut off. You know, the crust. You can feed it to the eggs. Oh, here they come. Sweetie, want some crust? Oh, yeah. Here you go. Good boy. Good boy. Not a thing goes to waste in this house. Alright, crust is all good. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna Okay, so this is your sandwich here, okay? I'm gonna set this right over here for you. So on the way out you could grab it and you can eat it in the care. Have you had anything to drink? Well, you know when you first wake up. You're dehydrated, because when you sleep, you sweat. I know we don't like to think about it, but when you sleep and you're sweating. I'm gonna get you some thin You want some water? No, okay. Well, I'll tell you what, we also have, your sister's favorite. What? What's wrong with Pinkie Pie? You used to love Pinkie Pie. Oh, you're not a kid anymore. Okay, well. Poor Pinkie Pie. Alright, I guess your sister will stick with it. Okay, well. What about this one? More of the cup. Because, you know, you're a teenager now. 
Okay, good. I'll pour you some. It's good iced tea. It's from the Wawa. I'm just gonna grab it here. And I don't, like I say, don't tell you better. I'm doing my best to keep this stuff away from him. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna set it over here for you. Gotta put the iced tea away. But like I said, don't tell you either. It's good stuff though, isn't it? You like it? Good. Make sure you drink it all up because. You're gonna be dehydrated and then you're not gonna feel well. And I want you to feel just, you know, I just want you to feel good. When we're dehydrated, we can feel like depressed. We can feel not so good. Really tired. I know I feel really tired when I, when I, when I don't drink enough water. I drink this. early in the morning. But I got these cookies. They're sugar rested mini cookies. They're peanut butter and nut free, something nice. They make sure to tell you that's really nice. Now you see, I told your father about these. Look how many cookies are gone already. Look how many cookies are gone. I've had one frosted mini cookie. And look how many are again already. That man, I told him to stay away from the sugars. So. You want one? Yeah? Okay. Okay. You can have several if you want. He likes it hurt. You know, the hair's really grown on me. Yeah, it's not too bad. <sighs> I'm not looking forward to the talk with your grandmother. You know, when I was younger, I tried to dye my hair blonde. Well, you know, back in the day, the blonde was a thing, and you know, it didn't look too good on me, but Trade it out and... Oh, your grandmother was just so upset. It didn't turn out too well, though I must say it was more of an orange color because it didn't bleach very well, but... You know, you did a very good job. This is a nice color pink. You did this all on your own? You know, honey, that is really impressive. You looked up some sort of a, a tutorial on the YouTubes? Aww. Well, sweetheart, you did such a good job. I'm very proud of you. Is this like a new uh, trend on the TikToks? Doing your hair like this? I know you like the TikToks. Yeah? Well, hopefully that the trend just changes a little bit soon because, listen, you look great with this color here, but, you know, I really like with your natural hair. Um, you know, I just think you look really beautiful with your natural hair. And, um, you can tell me if it's because of the neighbor boy. Did he tell you that he wanted your hair this color? Okay. Whatever you say. Oh, goodness gracious. 
You're gonna kill me one of these days. You're gonna kill me. Not literally. Not literally. Goodness. Oh. Biscuit. One of the cats just pooped. It's really potent. Do you smell that? I, really? They're not even covering it. This is what I have to deal with. Oh my goodness, I just remembered. I need to go to Wally World. Well, there's a church congregation, or there's a church service tonight, an evening service. And I said I was going to bring some gluten-free mini muffins. Yes, the gluten-free mini muffins kind. Well, for coffee hour. Well, there's coffee hour the next morning. But I wanted to make sure that I had the mini muffins for the cafe hour. It's okay, you wouldn't know. But if you wanted to, you could come to church with me. Okay. Alright. Well, I will always accept you with open arms. I know you're trying the whole atheist thing, and that's okay. Because it's okay to explore your religion. It's okay to explore. As long as you come back. You know what they say about the... Um, uh, Philippians, uh, 17, you know, something about, you know, the flock, sheep, sometimes they wander off, but Jesus always finds them. Jesus always finds them. Mm-hmm. So it's okay, I don't mind the journey if you snow, but I will always be here with open arms, okay? Mm-hmm. We're very accepting in our congregation. I know you're a little bit different, but we love you just the same. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, I gotta go clean the kiddos poop. Ah, biscuit. I don't know what it is, if it's like the, the food that we're giving them. Anyway, you got about 15 minutes and then we're going to your grandparents. Rethink about the eyeliner. It just, it would be, it would be nice for me. Less confrontation for me, okay? Think about it. Okay, come here, Biscuit. 